What does the Federation say? The ministry uh, says, uh, no money. Funding issues once again. I want to get you talking. Uh, so they say, uh, well, the ladies haven't been winning for a long time uh, at the Commonwealth Games. Uh, so they say, oh, we have to cut it down. And that's why we're not having a female team. Uh, th th that's pretty weird. Uh, when I saw the, the stories um, hours ago, I'm like, no, you can't give that as an excuse. It's it's not done anywhere. Uh, <laughs> If 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 you if you are so if you are so open, like okay, we don't have funds, and everyone can see that you don't have funds, then that's a different ball game. But you don't bring up such reasons or such excuses, <laughs> and say because uh, they've not been doing well or probably getting medals. Mm. Then other countries should also probably okay. uh, tow our part yeah. if it was a good if it was a good decision. But it's not a good decision, really. You know, that to me, it's worrisome. It's weird because. Um, Olofokyo Shanaike made it to the quarterfinals that they just concluded as Crack Cup. That's promising. So you need to, that sort of player, encourage her to sustain the momentum. Adam of Young made it to the semis. About, about the young girls, the ones you that know, are playing in the... Esther uh, Ribamiche. Esther Ribamiche and Co. You know, so when if, you... If that's the excuse, um, uh, I mean, some persons need to answer pretty well. It has well. always been funding. If, if speak to the NOC Are you funding now. the five guys going? Well, they said we're strong in the team events and we can also do well in the doubles. That's, why do we like to give weird excuses in Nigeria? Uh, it's, it's, it's worrisome. Uh, it's really worrisome. I know. <laughs> I know. Because, I mean, it's so discouraging. What very, do you, very discouraging. What expect of uh, these this female players? Well, they represent the country I mean, for quite some I mean, how time. do you want them to feel now? How do you want the female players to feel? If they've been spending probably their hard hand money to train and all, mm. you've just dampened their spirits. And mm. then you're going to uh, raise placard in the next few weeks when you see maybe an Esther or probably you see one of these young girls going to switch into DR Congo or switching or playing for another country. Mm. We shouldn't blame them. Mm. It's just weird, Austin. I know, I know. <laughs> Struggling for the words to respond. Uh, and that's the story of table tennis in Nigeria. Five players, male players only, will represent Nigeria at the Commonwealth Games. Uh, it's not me or Ruti Mead. If the ministry says uh, they, they need to cut it down. The, the ministry uh, should have come up with a, a better reason. Uh, not, not, not this. Uh, but it's, it, oh, <laughs> they got tired of saying funding. Funding is the biggest enemy in the room, <laughs> wrote to me. So they just took that as, okay, the ladies have been doing so well for quite some time now, but you they do, You they don't even go. come out to say that. Mm. It's discour I mean, that's, that's, that's so discouraging on the part of the girls. So what, what, is, what the likes of Oshonaike, who is in her 40s and go, what should, she, what should she be thinking of? That she's wasted all her years playing for Nigeria? Uh, the, the upcoming ones, the Estas, the F Young, all of them, what should they be saying? The Sicilia and co? What should they, so, what should they all be saying? Sad. Okay, that's the update for you. I'm sure uh, those of you following will know that uh, if, you, if you love Chelsea, you need to start praying. It's not Barcelona 2, Chelsea 0, uh, aggregate 3-1, Barca, they're running away. Uh, if you think Barca is running away, look at what Bayern Munich they're doing. They're flying away. Yeah. Uh, it's the UEFA Champions League. When, when you get into that momentum, you just, you just sustain it. So uh, Barcelona 2, Chelsea 0, Bayern Munich 3, Besiktas 1. So that's the story. And to think about it, that the game just, the game just just started yeah, and the, everybody the Bayern game is over. Uh, they are true mm. uh, that was an early kickoff early kick they won 8-1 on aggregate but for chelsea don't worry guys you can still come up <laughs> uh, try to get away uh, with that one sports tonight on channel tv we're taking a look at the 2018 commonwealth games but we'll also keep our eyes on the uefa champions league and when those updates start coming we will discuss them with you uh we've just discussed table tennis let's find out what's going on with team nigeria boxing boxing um before independence I like telling you this story. Nigeria had produced world champions, world, not continental, world <laughs> champions in boxing. And we were not respected. The country was feared. Whenever our boxers come out, they do so well. But in the last five years, boxing has experienced a decline in the country. Where we're hoping that things get back to uh, how it used to be, bring back the glory days. That's what uh, the Federation they said they want to do. And which we start with the 2018 Commonwealth Games. Uh, Nigeria will be represented by eight boxers. Now, the good thing is we have female boxers in this one. Hey. It's four female boxers and four male boxers. I'll just run through their names. I shot. Let, let, let me look for trouble before you go to them. <laughs> when was the last time you saw our female boxers do anything? There you go. So why didn't but, the ministry come up with that kind of uh -huh, excuse? Aha, uh aha. -huh. 
Uh huh. Just bust, just bust. Let's, let's just bust. I shot Oriomi uh, <laughs> fighting in the 51 kg uh, flyweight category. Yetunde Odunoga. Yetunde is the only one with an experience from this female exactly. team. Yeah. Remember, one silver yeah. at the African Championship, and she's in the lightweight category, 60 kg. Itunu Riola, uh, 69 kg, welterweight. Amelie said, Agbogbolem uh, completes uh, the female list. Uh, she fights in the 75 kg. For the male counterpart, uh, Sikiru Fatai Ojo, aka Scorpion, comes with a lot of experience. Um, is in the Nigeria police, still with the team, and he's the team captain uh, for Nigeria uh, boxing team at the Commonwealth Games. Fights in the 56 kg bantam weight category. Uh, Kazim Shoyoye, uh, also a very good amateur boxer in the 50 kg lightweight. Uh, we represent in Nigeria. Osita Ume uh, is in the Nigerian army, strong, gallant soldier. Uh, let's hope that uh, all of the training from the Nigerian <laughs> army, uh, when he gets to Australia, is going to do something for the country. While Lukman Lawal uh, fighting the 81 kg light heavyweight to represent the country. So this is a, this is cheering news for um, boxing. Yeah. They opened camp, Rotary, if you can remember, last year, December. Last year, sure. And then they started cutting, cutting, cutting to this list. And this team, they are still practicing right, right here in Lagos. Uh, but, uh, well, yes, they are still practicing. But then again, the man in charge, Tony Konye Guachi, has come out to say, you know what, we need exposure. Hmm. Uh, we need to, we need proper training or, how will I put it now, proper bout, you know, before the main one at, at Gold Coast. I heard they're going on a training tour mm. into Australia. The question is, today's what? February, uh -huh. uh, March 14th. Uh -huh. Tournament starts April, April 4th. 4th. That's, so when are you, when when are you going for that tour? Rotary right just passed. I know a lot of questions will continue <laughs> where we are posting sports tonight on Channels TV. Let's go on this quick break. When we come back, we'll continue with this boxing talk. And of course, what's going down in the Champions League? Don't go anywhere. Stay.